Hello, hello, hello. Hello, it is alien time. Sorry, I'm four minutes late. I was getting another drink of gin. Because that's important to me. I should really put the kinetic stabilizer on my own weapon, but. A race against time, find the conduit. Well, it's going to be a real long time. Look where we are! We're in the home system! We're on the moon! The moon! Fun, fun, fun. Moving out. Why, Tally? Why? Why and why do you still have toxic damage? Who needs stabilizing when you've got big old strong muscles? And earf or earf. Got it. I understand what you mean. So yeah, I am drinking a bit of alcohol tonight and I've not eaten much today, so I could get very drunk very quickly. And you know what? I don't apologize for it. God, I hate how eerie the music is in this bit. I don't know what the purpose of blowing up the power junctions is, but I'm sure it's got some... some... Yeah, utilising that induction tube. There we go. I just wanted to put my helmet on. Got some good things. Oh, I got got some armor for Rex. You'll be happy. Don't know if you can equip it though. But we'll find out. We do, we gotta protect Papa Rex. There's Garrus once again being rendered incapable of moving away from things. I don't know what's up with Garrus at the moment. He's just being a douchebag. Like, I love him, but he's still he's such an asshole. He just won't do anything that makes sense. So rockets are a one-hit kill. I didn't save before I got in here. God. Ah. I've been here not even five minutes and I've died. Uh. Uh. Mm. 
Then the Reapers ate the galaxy, the end. Yep, that's, that's how it went. For fuck's sake. I forget, I forget how many of these fucking drones are one hit kills. Tasty gin. Let's do a flip. Aww. Could be a while before we get through this properly. Which is, uh, unfortunate. So today I woke up at about two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I had my toes licked by a dog. That's staying with us for the weekend. And then I did the one of the raids in Destiny 2. Did the Leviathan raids and remembered how terrible it is. There's too many gimmicks in it. Just like, oh hey, it's gonna be mechanisms the raid. Which if you design raids, do not do mechanisms the raid, it's not fun. What are we gonna do? We're gonna save. The dog is hilarious. I do, we do, she just doesn't like men. So she's already associated one um, door with my dad going through that. So if anyone goes through that door, she starts barking until she sees either my mum or me. And then she stops barking, but if she sees my dad, she keeps barking. And then... Yeah, and she also... She, she keeps jumping up on my legs. She keeps jumping up on my bad leg. And I'm like, please, Molly, you're tiny. But you're also chubby. Please do not break my legs. The only time she likes my dad is when my dad's lying on the floor doing his, his physiotherapy. That's it. Otherwise, she's just like, no. Bark, bark, bark. Right, everybody. She is a little goof. She's adorable. But she's such a goof. You'd like to eat the planet dust outside. What? Really? That should have been a one hit kill, I thought. I give up. I'm afraid I won't give her a small nose kiss because she is perpetually damp at the moment. Her hair just hoards uh, water. And she's such a damp little... She's so damp. 
Uh, Garrus, I feel like you could be using a much better weapon than that. There's no sweat glands under her fur. She has to say cool somehow. I know, but like every time, every time I give her lots of pets and everything, I won't rub her stomach anymore because she is so dirty. She's slightly too chubby for a dog, and it's made her uh, so her her tummy's just really dirty all the time. So I just won't give her tum rubs. Not until, uh Not until she cleans herself somehow. Somehow Tally is behind me, even though she was in front of me there. She has no concept of clean, but she is beyond such petty mortal, cons mortal concerns. Good for her, but still, uh, it means I'm gonna pet her less. Because she's so she's so dirty. I have to keep washing my hands every time I give her a wee clap. Am I the one taking all the damage? And if this is a rocket drone, I'm going to be pissed. Right, this could take an insanely stupid length of time to get through this whole base because there are far too many drones. Go way over there. Go! Straight line tally, you can make it. I'm not going to bother reading that joke out, Krogan. Wait there. Why did Tally take toxic gas damage? She's got a sealed suit. Game, you make no sense. Ah, oh, I'm destroying bits of early ED. I'm sorry, ED.
I did like your fallen joke. I was about to copy and uh, paste it on one of my raid groups to see how much they appreciated it, because I'm sure they'd love it. Or I would at the very least send it to Don because he liked he liked your the seat is taken joke. Running, he could take the mackle. It even wouldn't be the same if you didn't kill her early iterations. You're making her the AI she is today. Well, you mean the AI she is in the future. You think that, Tally. You're so wrong. There's going to be so many positive contacts. It's annoying that you don't get like the same weapons or armor in the uh, each. Each thing. If y'all could come around the corner, that would be great. She's got this. She's got way more shields than I do. Ellie does not have this. Garrus, you're you're doing the thing. Why do you think it's payback time? I'm so happy that the fucking enemy AI is as stupid as my co-op AI. This would fucking suck otherwise. Something's in the way. Tally. Come on. What if you- 
What have you clipped? She, she definitely handled it. She definitely wasn't beat. Why does this take so long? takes so fucking long! Right guys, there's gonna be drones on the way out. I hope you're ready for this. At least I'm pretty certain there's drones on the way out. Nope. I'll be the next one. Hi, it's me, the pizza thief. Oh, can you thief me some pizza? I had love I need to have some form of dinner. Uh, guys, you can creep up on me now. You don't... I'm absolutely will m <laughs> I'm teeth some pizza for the common folks. I'm good. You're doing the gods' work, Kai. Take the guns out. You want to keep the guns out. Yes, take take the big shield out. More heavy armor. I can't wear that. Yes, the god of pizza. Cronk, crunch, slurp, just eat tick pizza. I'm so happy for you, Kai. You sound like you're having a fantastic time. I don't know what she in the power junction, junction actually does. I have never been sure. But I will do it. What's on the pizza? Toppings. Okay. That sounds great, Kai. That's not good. Those bots look like they could be grat friends if they had no guns. Um, they're potential friends. Oof!
there so many rocket drones? What the hell? Right. Losers, get up. <laughs> get up. Can I push her through it? I want to see if we can get a ragdoll body. No. If the bot has a gun that increases the friendliness factor, but without a gun, her hugs gain th times three bonus. You're, it's very true. More fucking rocket drones. You two were no fucking help whatsoever. doesn't enjoy clipping corpses through the ceiling. Come on. It's a, it's a universal source of total rapture. Why are there so many puns in the thing tonight? Who gave you all permission? Because I didn't. Right, come on you two. Wait there. Krogan, I hate that. I hate that so much. I like puns, but there's just so many fucking puns today. I can't handle it. And there are too many friends on the way. And I can't handle those either. Right, you two, you're gonna be meat shields. Cause that's apparently all you're good for. Get up. Meat shield versus energy shield. And guess what wins? The energy shield. Guys, ah, come on. We know, we both know what happens if you fucking stand near me, which is you get killed by the explosion somehow. Tally Snora. <laughs> Oh, Tally with me. She's a fucking like tech expert. A tech expert. Oh, she just she just kept dying. 
Burst of white noise overall. Frequency is nearly deaf and you. Your heart sits head up display interprets it into a, seri into a series of O's and 1's. 0100100101 They repeat again and again blanket blanketing all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster, VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. Cool. She knows engines and ships and that's, that makes her the best. It does make her the best. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class because your squad screen to view the bonuses you gain with each rank in your specialization class. Uh, operatives are masters of manipulating brives out overload and sabotage damage with all weapons. Right, you two fucking losers. Useless. Gaius, you're okay because you spent less time with dead than Tally did. But Tally, you're a disappointment. We are elite. I have really not had much to eat today, so I could get drunk very quickly if I'm not careful. Hey, that binary thing said help. Uh, yeah, I know it does, because it's Edie. It's Edie before she was Edie. I'm not going to crunch the space rocks. If you want to crunch space rocks toast, you got to get up and crunch them yourself. And I am 100% convinced you would definitely have a nibble of some moon rock. If someone gave you a piece of an asteroid or something, you'd be like, oh, this is tasty. Nom, 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 nom. Like, for sure. I have no doubts. Uh, the Plodocuses are not the only things that have to eat them. Some birds have to eat, have to swallow. I didn't birds have to swallow rocks in order to make their gullet grind up stuff properly. Fun fact, breathing in moon dust will lacerate your throat and lungs. That sounds the same. That sounds about right. Uh... You okay there? Yeah, because dinosaurs and birds is the same. Birds are descended from dinosaurs. If the dinosaurs did it, it's likely the birds have to do it too. Bam! Uh, right, let's do Dr. Salion first. Kepler Verge. Herschel system. Artemis Tau, Hades Gamma, Voyager Cluster, Armstrong, Kepler Verge. That's Newton, and that's Herschel. This gin is far too tasty. Why do they keep changing the buttons between? Hmm. 
and some heavy metal. Num 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 num. Uh, there it is. Tungle. Mass relays are just fancy words for literal gauss cannons used for FTL. Yeah, sure. I, I definitely know what you mean when you say those words. 110%. I want Turbo Post to like, what if the alien so what the fuck us has haunted me because what if it's true? <laughs> I sent that in a private message to Krogan because I too am concerned about if it being true. Because what if... What if... Wait, can I have the Naginata? I can. You can have one too, Garrus, because we're the same. Because we are definitely going out. We're an item. You've got no say in this. Naginat is our swords, what is this sword appropriation bullshit? It's, 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 you know, banshees and a scimitar, it's also a sword. Tornado is a type of weather, so it's a firestorm. Katana is a sword. Stinger, edge, stinger. Stingers are on bees. Hammers. Why would you call a sniper rifle a hammer? Hammers aren't that accurate, let's be real. I will find the giant muscle aliens are willing to reel me against the wall, I swear to god. Uh, uh, dare we all say mood? It actually has less to do with length, more to do with how one grips it. Um, isn't it also slightly to do with shape? I hate, I hate this space so much. Which is why I bring the Krogan with me. Garrus! He died instantly. He died as he lived dead. Open the door! Open the door! like that. <gasps> Ape also comes to play when defining sword categories. I read it in a top of us. I have no genuine knowledge of my own. One moment. Okay. Okay. I, I typically tend to go and google Tumblr stuff because especially when they don't post sources that link to things 
I just don't trust anyone what anyone says on Tumblr. Because they could all be liars. Is there really nothing in here? Garris, I thought you'd have something to say. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salian. <laughs> and the whole bus stood up and clapped what? with their knife swords. Hart. Dr. Hart! Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doc. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy. Please, don't let him do this to me. Right, right. I'm gonna. Um, this is my one of my few renegade options. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Because I'm going to indulge Garrus. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No, please. please. His eyes aren't broken. They've always looked like that. That was satisfying. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will commend them. Be well, fair. I guess we're done here. Uh, I want to have a look around. Okay, good. They d uh, their cloacas are not in their heads. I swear to God, Krogan. Hey Krogan, I got you some armor and I got you some new biotic camps. I also got a uh, Amy Duber. Here you go. Aww, you look like a Power Ranger. I've got a lot of things to sell. I'm excited. Wait, you don't use a shotgun. What happens if you just let him run away? I I I don't know because I have never let that happen. I always kill him. Well, if you let him go, he turns on you anyway. Actually, I have done it. I remember now. He turns on you anyway, and he fucking he tries to kill you. So you always end up killing him no matter what. You should go get a new battery for your car, if that's something that you need to do. Stereo's been losing power and on the drive home yesterday the cruise control was just turning off. That is not good news, Kai. Go get a new battery. Well, if it's not that, um, then ask your technician. Right, let's go speak to Garrus. See what he has to say about doing his little loyalty mission. Look how productive I am. I've done two side quests in 45 minutes. Even though I died in the first four minutes, it doesn't count. They said it was battery too. Then get a new battery. Then ask a friend who's a mechanic wouldn't charge you for money. It might charge you for say a pie or a cake. 
thoroughly believe that humans should go back to a bartering system. That would be much better. That's a whole ass piece of lemon. Oh, there's pomelo in the fridge. I'm going to have some grapefruit. Garris, I love you so much. Commander, good to see you. G Garris? Commander, how are you? Garris? Shepard? Garris? Commander, good to see you. Alright, fine, I won't fucking speak to anybody. Sure. Rex? Right, let's equip Liara. She's gonna need it for the uh, Novaria mission. We've got Tally in her orange suit. That's cute. Yeah, Rex is equipped. Got Garrus. Fuck Aiden. We'll just do Ashley's. God, she's wearing the N7 armor. I don't like it. Put on a different armor set. You're not good enough, Ashley. Commander, how are you? Your Garrus isn't speaking to me. Uh, I never answered because you should not trust my judgment. Also, because she wouldn't take proper screenshots, so I don't know what color they really are. Nit tally. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? I should go. See you later. I'm gonna walk up to you, turn you around, and then tell you I should go. That's the thing I'm gonna do. Alright, we're doing Rex's mission next. Looking for supplies? Looking for supplies? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard alliance issue. Right, you say you say whatever I want. What about Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Uh Why should I pay Vibrators. for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. You bet, Commander. You bet, Commander. You bet. I'm black-white with a... Come on, brain. You can do it, brain. Come on, brain. Uh, gold highlights. If it's less than five, I don't want it. Actually, I don't want. I don't want it anyway. We'll hold on to rounds and armor mods, but that's it. Very much hoping you'd say alien dildos, and you only slightly disappointed me. You're welcome. Only slightly. I've got one point in intimidation, right? I've maxed out in pistols now. And I'm halfway with my paragon points. Woohoo! What shader is that? Oh, there's. I'd have to be playing Destiny to tell you which shaders I'm using, unless I can look it up on my phone. But I'm not going to do that midstream. I'll send you a screenshot later. Alright, assignments. Right. Why are there so many? There's so many. Co 
for ten. Assignments now. I'm going to do them another time, right? Uh, hiding at a base somewhere in the Argus Row. Uh, I never actually looked up what you had to sell. I just supplies? sold you a whole bunch of things. Um, that's Precursor Vex Chrome is the one Vex shader that's white and has the golden metallic bits. Uh, Precursor Vex Chrome. The other one is uh, Mercury Prophetic is really nice on ships and sparrows. Cool! I can afford that and I will have 6,013 credits left. Uh, 34, 228, 20. Nah, not worth it. But also the Kalish shader is really nice because it's white, gold and purple. But, eh, uh, you have to do the raid to get it. But you can do like one encounter and then you're fine. Not, uh, not the current raid, not the last wish, but the Leviathan. Leviathan? That's such nice gin. Uh, let's go speak to Liara. Let's see how awkward she is. Because she's going to be mega awkward. I'm going to hate it. I'm going to hate every moment. Oh, gin? Yes, I'm drinking Orkney gin uh, from the Deer Nest distillery you from on Orkney. Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. I'm trying to get but metallic sunset like for ages now and after scrapping hundreds of bit of armor to help you stop Sarah. Um, I promise. Have you already acquired that shader, Don't Krogan. Worry, I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. She can buy shaders from the collections. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good ah. in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Vinicius. This hoits you. And this was not like her. Something changed. Where is it? I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. I've had no painkillers today. Who is, who here is proud of me? Because I'm proud of me. Smile like galactic disputes. really hurts. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Rumors? Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. They're monogendered. Could you argue that they're non-binary? Maybe of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. So. I get that a lot of what is being said is being translated and a lot of humans view Azari as being 
in terms of sexual dimorphism, female. Is that why they say daughters rather than children? Because really, wouldn't they say we pass this, we pass them on off to our uh, offspring? What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are because why would they have daughter versus son? Others can be more long term. If there's only a, one gender. Her partner will stay together for many decades. Hypothetically. You as Sari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. I have to assume so, yeah, much as I love a lot of the world building with a lot of these areas, the whole monosex thing really seems unexplored and undeveloped as a whole. Yet, yeah, like, there's a lot of promise there. They could introduce a lot of, like, new terms, or they could be a bit better in terms of their description. But, there's the whole... The Sari are visually appealing to every species in the galaxy, which is, and given that the whole mating ritual is done, um, I thought you always needed a well, there is a good ex example there. Your, your, my we father, if you want to use that term. If we were not able to mate um, our own species, there's the whole. We would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left our home. Uh, our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. I'm still, I'm still getting Asari there. Believe it weakens our species. I've forgotten my train of thought. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Oh yeah. So, so wisdom would mating is a fully. What is sometimes called? What call it? Pure blood. No psychological thing, almost like you could say it's like a it telepathic, what not. That's the case. Sari appear as being generally female to humans because females are considered beautiful in human culture. You don't know what they look like to Tyrians because they all like. There's the whole strip club, not the strip club. There's the bar where they've got the stripper for the bachelor party in uh, on Ilium in Mass Effect Two, suggesting that each is seeing a different creature in front of them from one to the next, because there's a Salarian, a human, and a Turian. So could it be, could also be that the translator is also just going, okay, this is what humans are viewing, therefore this is what, this is how, we're, we're just going to gender the language. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. If that makes sense. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Venezia never spoke of her partner. It's not that Salarians lack a sex drive, it's just that they've got a very small one. Because they're like... Though they describe them as being amphibious beings, but frogs are not, like, you know, lacking in a libido. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, Lara, I just wanted to ask you a whole bunch of questions about how your species fucks, and now I'm gonna fuck off. Argus Row. That's where we're headed next. And then we're gonna do Novaria. So, we'll be doing Vermeer next week. It's not like human sex drives or something to that effect. Yeah, it's a. Uh, there's no need for like I don't know guest daily or whatever. And Pharos, Arx, Argus Row, Argus Row, Argus Row. So it could be that they're all mega horny all the time, but just for piles of eggs or something. It perhaps. 
comment. Give me the option to explore all the way down there if there's nothing down there. That time of week, folks, for me to trim my nails. There's my nail, nail file. Uh, Varmalus? Nope. It's a blue planet. Because there's loads of snow. Metcos. coming in. Patching it through. Or Metcos. General distress call. The sacred angel medical transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. What are we doing here? Transponder single, uh, single signal. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's put your things into first aid barrier. I don't have one. Woo! Single transponders in your area. Oh, I think I know this planet. It's a Geth ambush. Nine times out of ten, it's a fucking Geth ambush. We'll see when we get there. So once once I get to the transponder, it's a Geth ambush. There's a wreckage. The signal must be coming from there. Uh, we're gonna get this mineral first. Aw, Rex, you're like the dad of everybody. Negative contact. What were you two shooting at in the first place? Mad men. It's a guest trap, oh no! Get the fuck out of here and then we're gonna fucking snipe him from a distance like a sensible person! Yeah! Alright, this is a good outcrop to hide behind. Oh, that was a miss. Tune 1! brain drive much
Uh, look at how little my shields went down. <laughs> oh, can I even scan this? No, I can't. Oh. That was a lot of fun. I feel a bit lightheaded now. This booze is going straight to my head. I've had two gin and tonics and I'm like, wow! A great time. Alright, the first time I ever did that, I just got absolutely destroyed. Because it never occurred to me that I could just drive away and turn around. But I have learned, I have grown from that experience, but now I know I can just run them over. Because it's the Mako, and the Mako is ridiculous. I love this stupid fucking car. It's so fun. Come on, come on, your traction's stupid. You can stick onto the side of the mountain. Come on, come on, you're better than the Skyrim horse. You're the original Skyrim horse. That's right. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Yes! Look at that. Look at that. Alright, uh, I think it's a mummified Solarian. Oh, it's a Tyrian corpse. I was wrong. Can you believe Andromeda was really out there thinking people would like their lame little buggy bird than the motherfucking Mako? That is big nerve. That's huge nerve. Ridiculous. The Mako is the only valid Mass Effect vehicle. People who like the the Mass Effect 2 vehicle are liars. It cannot be trusted. The hammerhead. Fucking ridiculous. Mackles, where is that? I like to bounce uncontrollably across landscapes and drive up vertical slopes that I have no right driving up. Only, the only thing the hammerhead's got in the Mackle is it's got tracking rockets. That's it. Oh, I broke one of its wheels, oh no. Joker could pilot the Michael through space. We, we wouldn't even need the Normandy, right? <laughs> Electronic skill too low. Aww. Garrus! I'm here if you need me. Well, do it. Wait, 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 how did you get over there? Oh, Garrus is teleporting again. Hey, P brain, teleport much? Right, that's that planet done. Yeah, that particular P brain teleports, and I'm not sure how. P. Brian. <laughs> Me, I'm type good. You sure do. You type so good. They are. That's a gas giant. Cyber? Nope. 
Another gas giant? Can rum. Argus Rule Cluster, not seeing any other other than Pinnacle Station. Maybe 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 Rex's thing is in the in this system. I don't know. I'm a dumbass, probably is. Patashi Anything in the asteroid cluster is Wrong button. See, the broadcast bar covers up some pretty critical parts of my controls, so I can't see what I'm doing. Got a protein data disk. Know how I don't say data, I say data because I am, in fact, not American. Tontao? That's definitely, definitely not a thing on thing. Right, gotta take Rex, we gotta take our Rexy boy, and we gotta take our Garcy boy. Uh, Toast, I don't like what you just said there. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to use the restroom very quickly and I'm going to get another drink. So I will be back in two or three minutes, depending. So don't get too loud so the other class can hear you and I will be right back.
else has a ton of bops, a book of hymns at your local church, attend a service this Sunday and let Jesus save you. Um, okay, toast. If you say so. I would have been back sooner, sooner, but I had to soothe a grumpy little dog. No. Uh, she doesn't know our house. She doesn't know which doors are who. So if she hears the door opening and closing, she just starts barking. She starts being like, who's that? What are you doing here? So I had to go through and be like, it's me. You can shush. She's getting a wash tomorrow because she's filthy. It's very stinky. She's a stinky little beast at the moment. Unless Jesus has one or more ten inch alien penises, I'm good. Uh, Krogan, please. Ten inches are just, you know, unreasonable. And I'm sure someone out there has speculated on the size of uh, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ's heinous. It's not me though. Up until this moment, I had not given the thought to how big that wiener would be. I admire your capabilities if you can handle an 11 inch penis, Krogan. Electronic skill too low? Fucking hell. I bring Garrus along. Cause he's he's my boy and he just he can't open up any of these things. Should have brought Tally. Tally can handle all of this. Should have just brought Tally. How would a mercury deposit work? Unless this planet's cold enough that mercury would actually be a solid rather than a liquid. On that note, what is the freezing point of mercury? I'm pretty certain it's really low. Mercury wouldn't be on the surface like that, not normally very heavy metal. Fun fact, we've got a jar of mercury in our house. Minus 39 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's really low. I'd have to take it all the way to the Antarctic to make it freeze. Right, come on then, you dick of a fucking thresher maw, I know you're here. Don't pretend like you're not. You done goofed, toast. Shepard's able to walk up this very steep slope as, easy, as easily as she does. She must have insane calf strength. No, 
got thighs. And that. No, 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 no. To walk up a thing like that, you need super strong quads and super strong calves. Especially as upright as that. Thighs that could crush a pumpkin. Never let alone a watermelon. Driving almost straight south. Excellent. Maybe the reason why she's so skinny is they keep getting given armor that helps, you know, fucking redistrib redistribute weight in such a way that it's less load bearing intensive on her body. And that's why she's able to walk up a structure like that. The only good muscle she needs is uh, fine motor controls as opposed to just straight brute strength. She needs as much muscle for carrying her armor, that's it. Toast, I really don't like that. That's really bad toast. Horrible toast. Please don't do that toast. Why are these Thresher Maws? I know there's Thresher Maws in this planet. I'm going to talk about Mass Effect Projection being used on Armoury, but now Toast has totally derailed my train of thought with his very bad words. They are very, very bad words, Toast. Hey, what's up? Uh, I hope you like uh, cannons. I think they do. Those better words don't make up, up for it. I did make him do somersaults with bullets and he deserved it. We all know this. This is the place. My armor's here somewhere. Rex, I can't take you seriously when you look like the pink Power Ranger. And why are you standing so, like, close and in front of me all of a sudden? Hiding.
Garrus, are you okay? I believe you Krogans don't understand personal space. Uh, one personal space. Look at this fucking crab walk. What the hell is up with the shepherd's leg? Go, go, go. attention to my own health Garrus. This fight is way too intense. And one of these pirates is seemingly invisible invincible. Oh, there's two of them, that's why. Oh, there's four of them. Right, that's Garrus out. That's Rex out. Shit, shit, shit. There we go. Right, it's just the last bastard. We go. Thank you. 
There's only two left. In there, Rex. That's more like it. Go, go, go. Shields down. Ooh. Lots of concentrating there. Too much, maybe. Mm. Holy balls, that was way more intense than needed to be. How did you why were you biting your nails? Did you not did you not trust me? Did you not think I could do it? Totally got this. I'm disappointed in you, son. I know how difficult this fight is, and I know how important it is to just hug that door. So that's why I did. I hugged. I hugged real hard. Oh, I forget there are fuel tanks up here that you can use. Are you about to propose, Garrus? If if so, then yes, I will marry you. Thank you for asking. Ancestors ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. Woo! Woo! Oh! I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Hey, come on. We're good buds, Rex. Rexy loves us. Mm, nothing's better than what I've got. Fusion or cryo. Let's go for fusion. Oh, he gets a fancy new... That's better. That's more like it. Are we done here? Pretty sure we're done here. Why are you still giving me an exclamation point? We've been there. there might be a door underneath us. Yeah, I'm I I get I get real bugged by some of the colour choices, especially like Garrus's armor right now is just fucking hideous. It looks like a really goofy Power Ranger and I mean no likey. I want to double check that I've got everything out of the doors, like, out of everything in here. Mm. 
Yeah, it's near. Nah, hmm. Hmm. Aww. He looks like he said a sharper accident? Yeah, he does. Or he looks like a fucking mango and passion fruit frozen yogurt. Swirl. Mmm. Tasty. And we're off to Novaria. I'm also hungry, but I should have I should have ate more today. I was just busy. I actually have a favorite like mission in this game. I enjoy all of them most equally. Do like Novaria. Approach control. This is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. But before we go, we're going to go speak to Rex. And maybe Garrus. We'll see if Garrus is going to speak to us this time. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people. I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Rex has got dialogue options. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? Shepard? I'm sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Yeah, you are. Bottom line, killing That's why you're here. simplifies things. You wouldn't you ever be here. People? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan works out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. 
And then he became a hero to Krogan everywhere and by so much he single-handedly populated his species. And you know what that is? It's growth. So long, Rex. Thanks for talking to me, Rex. At least you speak to me. Garrus! Commander, I... What can I do for you? There we go. Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Get in my bed. Thank you, Garrus. I'll keep that in mind. Just Get make met. sure you're ready to go when we do catch him. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. It'll depend on the situation. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Either way, I'm right behind you, Commander. Like we're just at Shepard's ID, it's screaming wildly in our head to get that blue space stick. Yep. We sure are. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Yeah, but, you know. They're an alien family, and they're not a human family. I don't think she lies very often. Blood yeah, of the Covenant's thicker than the War of the Womb. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. Are you just jealous you because I take them out on missions? Do they have full access to the ship? Yes, they should. They may not serve the Alliance chief, but they're allies, at least as far as Saren. Oh, sorry. I didn't this is mean that you guys could hear Navy. me. Filing my nails. I think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. That's enough, Chief. You always second guess your superiors? Ma'am, no, ma'am. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. That's fucking right, Ashley. Racist. You need the best you can use, cause you're gonna get probably borked. It's just barely even when the music is off, otherwise it's inaudible. Ah. Thanks. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be too loud. I'm I'm attempting to get out of the habit of like cutting my nails and into uh, filing them down. So it makes them grow better. Where's Garrus? There he is. Baby, baby boy.
Right, I'm going to take us back to. S oh no, wait, I'm on the area, aren't I? Looking for supplies? Let's see what you got. You bet. Should have gone to the citadel first. Got some gear. Uh, 26 and 210. Nah, because you've got no tech and biotic protection. I also need to get like a buffer because nail uh, finally my nails makes them even sharper than they were, which is not always a great idea. Uh, shitty amp, shitty amp. Still not any better than what I'm wearing. Human, 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 human. Oh, grenade upgrade. Could, hand, could deal with that. Uh, that's organics, polonium rounds, shredder rounds. And I'll give my other pistol to Liara. Here you go. I don't want genuine battle talents. I want to be able to use my phone. When your nails get too long, you can't use anything. So I use the tips of my fingers, not the pads. Sprint, 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 sprint. Man, she Shepard's hips are huge compared to the size of our arms. It's just totally off off balance. Oh, what a well balanced squad. Jeez. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Ooh! We've got a lot to put in. I want singularity because it's very helpful. And I'll put the rest into electronics. Yeah. There we go. Four. Exo Presley has the deck. We're on Novaria. It's very snowy. There's gonna be a lot of get then a lot of what do we call them? Insects. I can't remember what the insects are called. Meiko Matsuo. Or is it my eco? That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Hmm. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Stand down. Their house, their Rachne. That's it. If you Thank you. Best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down. 
We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I like how Spectres are authorized, but because my butts are with me, they're also just allowed to do it. My only problem with our current setup is we won't get to hear telling heal spiders. I've never heard her yell that because I never bring her on this. Because you know I bring Garrus with me everywhere. Because I'm love Garrus. Garrus is best. Garrus is B. I am Gianna Parasini. Assistant to Administrator Analeas, we apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief. All right, my mate, my talk. aim is to get us up to peak 15, and then of new use the stream Do there. You have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. I'm a specter. I can Has do what I like. Through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia. She is here. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. I've taken Thank you, you on exactly zero missions. That means a great deal to me. I really like the elevators in this Welcome building. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety, and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Hello, Mr. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. It's Willy Wonka's glass elevator. Uh... Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? <laughs> of course. Sure, this one whatever. Apologizes for inconveniencing you. Uh, all right, let's see if there's any Tyrian armor is better than what Garrus has. Oh, way better. Here you go, baby. Harris, where are you? There you go. Oh, yes, much nicer. And you get a second. You get bonus shields. How do our tentacles have to be? Apparently, they don't they manipulate Mass Effect fields to make them do that? This one. So they don't touch the ground. You are the specter that visits Port Hanch. Your body's uh. Sure, whatever. Uh, their bodies are right? really buoyant because they of live course. on an ocean planet, this but I'm also pretty sure they manipulate Mass Effect fields in order to be able to float. So many cryo rounds, ridiculous. Uh, 44, 150, 16, not any better. 
titled for 34, 130, 26. That's better than what Liara's got. Get that, get that. Yeah, mass effect fields, which is the answer to everything that happens in this game. Oh, me and Liara wear the same armor now. Okay, cool. This one offers greetings. The invertebrate warning of Hanna can support the own weight and normal gravity. When they're interacting with mainstream galactic societies, they rely on contragravitic -gra levitation packs that use mass effects. It's fields. I knew it. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. I know things. This I pay one attention. This apologizes for inconveniencing you. I have spent all my dying money. Right, goodbye. But we are fully upgraded and we are ready to go. And away we go. How can I help you? Nothing right now, thank you. Very well. Uh, Liara, I'm going to ask you to put your helmet on because it'll help you not die. This door can only be opened by Analeas. It's a testing. Me, 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 me. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas. Yes, what, what? What, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What sort of what can cargo? You tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason commandos. to forbid Lady Venezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Ah, oh, I'm gonna sucker punch you, Annalise, because you're a dickhead. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a past to leave. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Apparently, Hannah are actually relatively weak, not even able to lift a kilo. Um, because they started off in the water. So it would seem. I need an alternative. And they have Talk telepathy. To Lord Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. 
How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Where are Keen you looking, Gianna? the hotel since his office was closed. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 Depends on the gravity of the planet. Major shareholders also. include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. <laughs> I have to go speak to another Tyrion. Where's my pistol kept? I only count three weapons. One. Ah, it's kept just underneath my arm. Okay. Looks like the walls are made out of corrugated cardboard and it totally detracts from like how expensive this place is meant to be. Like, I get that it's really cold and freezing outside, but they could still do better than corrugated cardboard and lots of concrete. You're right, nobody did say the rich have good taste. Oh, you need a moment of The time. male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council. The music Kampia. change is Our really off-putting. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Future music is incredibly hit or miss. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. Five hundred credits. That's not enough. These uniforms just for show. My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I will be on my way. 
500 credits. I would have done it for 25,000 credits. Otherwise, that just wasn't enough money. What sort of Good. I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on thin strip. Full relics, of course. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. He's got really neat Lady face Benezia paint. Lady was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. Do you know why Benezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project. Size looks on tiny because they're just all I black. I suspect she meant peak 15. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. Are you Lorik Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Here, that let me drill you in a whole bunch of questions and then like double check an that you're the person who I'm actually meant to be speaking with. to. Because that's a, that's a completely normal thing to do. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeus cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. What the hell is a Nathak? How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? I love that. Lorikin is obsessed with Mr. human thugs may like, be necessary. Phrases. He has members of Han Shan's security team Watch searching my offices. Also fallen in a hole of researching... Uh, was unaware of their Kaji, and apparently has a mildly... Oh, the Hannah Homewell, and I got reminded about how Drell can cause hallucinations when oral contact is made. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I have to kill the guards, I'm afraid I can't help you. There's still the law around here. True enough. Though I hasten to point out that Ms. Matsuo disapproves of outside contracting. If you change your mind, I will remain here. That blizzard outside. Back again. But what can this old Turian do for you today? I've been thinking over your difficulties with Analeus. Indeed. Oh, wait, though, Kaji's there. So if I help you, you'll help uh, me. Trail home world. Yes. Ugh. You need to get into the garage. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. You have a plan? I do. I forget that However, the Paragon option is to refuse him, what is that which is dumb. Human expression. Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeus's thugs may be necessary. Look, Kaji is hard. <sighs> He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. 
The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? Of course. That's the most important thing, is keeping bloodstains off the carpet. You know, you're not just asking me to kill people or anything. Gabe can't decide what music it's playing at the moment. Oh, there we go. It's decided. Look at Garrus's tiny, tiny waist. Teeny, teeny, tiny. Uh, where are the offices? They're down here, aren't they? Are they? That's right. You're right, he didn't say anything about the walls. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my Eagles people. You're a barefaced Tyrion. Right hmm. They just sit around sipping expensive water. What can I do for you today? How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. Polish enough gizzard is the Tyrion counterpart to kissing off ass. You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights were shut down by Analeas. And a matriarch came through. I have to go. You need anything, I'll be here. You don't really have much to offer, really. Lily Hurryx, yeah, it is one hell of a one heck of a multisyllable name. Big fan of monosyllable names. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Good job guys. Very quick, clear, excellent. Fantastic. Well done. Welcome back, Kai. Why didn't where did you go? Didn't know you left. Download the evidence. I've purchased the battery and I'm too lazy to install it right away. That's fair. Just remember to do it before you need to use your car again. That's the important bit.
I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Oh, now you're gonna show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. I didn't want to fight them, they fired first. Her hair is done. And now she's dead. God, this pistol's so powerful, I love it. What a good gun. You're here, big dumb bang bang. Yes, yes, Kai. Yara, you need to be more careful. Chairs around. Jeez. Where is the corporations here hire their own private security forces? It makes it easier for them to break the laws that way. How did we get up here? <laughs> oh, there we go. Found it. They're at least doing better than usual. Two whole firefights and nobody on our side has died yet. I know! Yeah, I got you some thermal armor, Garrus. Oh, it's no better than what you're using. Okay. There's so many sniper rifles in there, it doesn't make any sense. Oh well, at least I've got a bunch of things to sell now. Money, 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 money! Ah, ah, ah. Garrus looks so handsome now, he doesn't look like he just crawled out of an orange juice extractor, right? So good. Instead, let's take everyone's helmets off. Let's get a look at you, Garrus. Oh, you beautiful baby boy, you. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Nope! It's probably Analeas' thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. God, everyone wants to go with a dr for a drink with Shepard and I don't blame them. She's a very pretty lady. I wouldn't 
actually sleep with Femship. I would just hug her a whole bunch and be glad that she's my friend. Bake her a lot of cakes. Some steaks. This one offers greetings. You nice thing about having a cheering boyfriend is that they don't age in a way that's easy for humans to recognize, so he's gonna look the same as at uh, easy, doesn't he? Yep. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? You're right, of you're right. Course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. You've got shit armor, son. Jeff is too far out of my league so that I could never even have an opinion on whether or not I sleep with her. Don't talk yourself down like that. I just... I wouldn't because I just want to be her pal. I have a platonic attraction to her as opposed to a romantic attraction. Me talking to her self down. So anyone who isn't a hulky alien is clearly not worth her attention. True. She's only interested in the strongest. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas is guilty. Your lip gloss is too shiny, lady. You also need some eyeliner to make your eyes stand out a bit more. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? Bit of blush, some, some contouring, we go miss. I thought corruption was the rule. I mean, if you're gonna wear a lip gloss that bold, you should at least the stop the stop the rest of your tolerated. features if it floating. With Analeas is driving customers away. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation. I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. All right. I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. I also want Thank to you. go and do you know everyone's eyebrows in this. Talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. They're all terrible at doing their eyebrows. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without it. Elder brother, it's me. I'm on the Varia now. I can't talk long. This call is costing ten credits a minute. It's real time from the Traverse. Did you think it would be cheap? I need she doesn't need eyeliner for eyeliner for to highlight anything. She just needs it to hide the fact that her eyelashes are currently hovering several millimeters from where above where they should be. Right? I need you to see what you can find out about. Are you ready for his name? Ronadril Gonswa Bolsum. Well, that's a really dying long name. Alright. Chill out, dude. Not sure if you received this doctor, but it is imperative you make your way to the safe location. Your history with our organization has been leaked. Your base in the Newton system is no longer as appear. Yeah. 
Oops. Uh, what did that do? <laughs> uh, have I made a mistake? Probably. Oops. Or like a bar? It's not a very cozy environment in here, is it? I like the sculptures though. I like the little circles everywhere. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeus' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeus. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Thank you. Can I help you? No, you can't help me. Imagine if elevator music was like that, it'd be fucking awful. Excuse me, Tyrians, how do you balance on two toes like that? That is remarkable. Right, Gianna, done it. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? I took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed Lighting to in here is really terrible. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. She thinks some say is some hmm. alien species preferred lighting different lighting to other alien species. Some of like this really right. works for Tyrians, but it does not work for humans. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly <coughs> I'm ecstatic, but right now I just feel like a What does Skeet mean in Murray Nuggins? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You it means a big old like spunk. A oh, so exactly like in that one song. You have the right to remain silent. That Kaia told us about uh, SDK. See you around the galaxy, Commander. Ski. Yeah, it was SDK. Hmm. I don't like that. Well, I ain't ever heard skeet ever before, and I don't like knowing a definition of it, to be honest. Can I have that one very small part of my brain cut out so I never know what the definition of it is, please? Please.
Yeah, I was also hoping there was a nicer Marty variant. Well, thank you for informing us, Nuggins. I, it was a question that needed answered. It was just not a good answer. Miss Parasini contacted me as she lifted off world. She's she's already gone. The board will be taking me into protective custody. Oh, fun. I expect I will be testifying in the next few days. Uh-huh. Miss Parasini contacted me. All right, fine. Okay. Let's do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. This is a place of secrets and lies. Me 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 me. You I've only brought you along, Liara, because it's your mum. That's it. It's the only reason. I'm not even going to take you on the Ilos mission. I'm going to take fucking Rex and Garrus, who will have zero appreciation for those Prothean runes. And I hope you understand that. Ah, oh, how quickly can I clear peak 15? By the time I get there, it'll probably be up to fucking three hours. Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Would any guard ever go, yes, that's genuine? I don't believe that. that you're pulling me out of fantasy here. Right, everyone, helmets on. Because it's geth time. Your arms should not bend like that. See, these are what the matriarch had in the crate. <laughs> Liara, what have you done to them? Liara's got everything. What, the? what did you do here, Commander? Me? I'm the victim here. The Geth attacked us. Geth, you expect me to... Where did they come from? If God, I look at the fucking the bodies, Matsuo. The she with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. So she goes from believing me to telling me if we're potentially how many there are. Maybe an investor panic. Alright, goodbye then. Just fucking disappear. Alright. Anything I can loot in here. Yes, an upgrade kit. <coughs> Benezia Sama fucking weep uh that's Captain Matsuo, which is clearly a uh, Japanese name, obviously. I'm guessing. It was either Mayiko or Ma uh, Meiko. Change her name to be Japanese. Uh. Uh, 
let's fucking save, shall we? Squad! Uh, sniper rifle, fitness, you could do with more in your singularity because that sends everything everywhere, which is pretty damn fun. Get yours in salt training. Bones in my leg are shifting around and I don't appreciate it. Uh, hot tip, don't fuck up the ligaments in any of your knees because then your bones disobey and misbehave. I have stray bones, that's what I'm going to call them. They're rabid, rebellious, and rambunctious. Well, uh, I could say that a bit more Scottishly. Rabid, rebellious, and rambunctious. Pretty sure rambunctious is word but uh, I've, uh, I've made up that word now. It's carefree but in a negative way. Rogue. I've never understood why there's just fucking random up upgrade kits in this uh, one corridor. Are we done here? We are done here. Uh, do your three point turn. Great kids. Yep. Wait, hang on, hang on. Medical kit and a crate. Plan to wipe out organic life via pollution. Well, is, ain't it gosh darn working? Uh, can we all just admire my three point turns right now? No, I had no idea what three point turn was until I took my driver's test where the instructor told me to do one. I just had to guess what that would be. <laughs> they make a big deal of teaching people three point turns here because a lot of people are really, really, really crap at them. Oh, 
Oh, got some more armor for Arturian. Let's have a look at it though. Okay, so liberation liberator stuff is the sharper armor. I don't want to use it. I want the black with the red highlights because that's really dang sexy, but I can't remember which armor set that is. If Garrus does look particularly good in one set of armor, I will use it over a better set of armor. Because, you know, everything is about fashion rather than functionality. So how it be on this bitch of an earth. Just think, this is Liara's first time in the uh, macro with me. She probably hates it. There is, folks. There's peak 15. Your armor I'm looking for is either mercenary or colossus. Uh, I think it might be mercenary. Or mercenary. I'm going to pronounce it completely wrong. If you mark a canary, that means there's a gas leak. Har, 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 har. Good joke. Well done. Bravo. Feel like the seal laughter was inauthentic. Uh no comment. Absolutely none. Oh, that's a big boy. 
No, 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 no. I want you, you to use sabotage on the big boy. Absolute babe. Fucking throwing Krogan around. facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. But you see, if Lyra had the personality of someone who throws Krogan around, I like her a lot more. See? She's got a, she's got a personality of a wet sponge. So whiny! She's like a fucking baby in the first game. I get it, your mum died. That's all the upgrades. Okay. the wrong way. They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Can we go back to Citadel and kill the Polis to make her the Shadow Broker sooner? No. We can't. So it wasn't the Volus of the Shadow Broker, it was the Yog. The Yog. Him. That was it. That was the Shadow Broker. Why did they put their weapons away but I did it? Shepherd's always on high alert. Fun there, Liara. Seems like it. It is almost bug time. That was an interesting angle for that particular shot. Oh, good formation.
Icky, 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 icky. hasn't complained about the cold yet. Let's ask him. I've never seen so much ice and snow. Oh, still no complaints. He's just not seen this much. Stay alert. Being cold keeps being cold. Uh huh. Turians don't like the cold, Shepard. Did I ever mention that? No, you haven't. That's the first time you've actually mentioned it. Mentioned it, Garris. Probably does have some unique di dialogues about the Brachnai, but uh, like you, I have never brought Rex on the mission. Oh no. You know what? That, was a uh, that is the last time. No more will I use a transport carrier. Three shipments. We lose in Macedon system in one month. They are too stupid or too slow. If only Gregor still ran his shipments. Don't know what that means. I thought. Krogan, you would have the achievement for taking Rex on all the missions. Or something like 90% of them. Is. Guys, you can't shoot through doors or windows. Not how it works. I don't like to make everyone feel important. I like to make the game know which which who's who's my favourites. I have no shame. Therefore, Garris will always go on a mission. I can't equip heavy armor ever. Wait, what? Oh, I know how to do this. Uh... 
dang to dang It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? I'm so smart. Oh yeah. Whoop 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 whoop. So very simple logic puzzle. With the virtual intelligence that runs I'm this so place. smart. This system so is fucking smart. To to the May I ask your name? I'm a Spectre. Commander Shepard, I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. A lesser shepherd would not have what managed that puzzle. Here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. I'm also quite impressed with how quickly I did that. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Uh, the main reactor. Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you have unleashed to sleep. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Oh, look at that. I got food. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Now exiting to the roof. User alert. To be fair, that um, pyramid puzzle was on like easy mode because if they had added one extra one, it would have been a lot more difficult. I can't believe you just spent time midstream to demand tributes of week for your maze. Hey, I sat up and picked up my phone for the first time in like three hours. <laughs> and I need wheat. I need... I need so much wheat. It's not... It's, it's unreal how much wheat I need. Yeet. Yeet. Damn it, Garrus. Damn it, Liara. We've been doing so well with our fights so far. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think it is going to be 1k exactly, but it's going to be way too much. Alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. User alert. La hey, Garrus. Nope. What does this look like, though? Mantis is still the best. Oh, new assault rifle though. There you go.
Landline connections are disabled. Got Master Unity unlocked. Passenger trams are offline. Right, is there anything else? Online. How may I assist you? What are the landlines and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. Automatically ejected. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Uh, there we go. That was very easy. Seems like I just flicked a switch there. Hey Hoots, take a- is it- is it the nice number? Nice. It was the nice number. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Uh, can I restart this yet? Fuel lines. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Now entering main reactor. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. It's Geth time! Oh no! Not Geth! User alert! Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart. Time for them, Roboys! Robots! As they should be called. Oh, so you can shoot me, but I can't shoot you, huh? Garrus, come on, Liara's tanking better than you are. You're a Turian. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency. We're gonna go do some intensive wheat farming Manual for you. Thank required. you, Toast. I, I love you and I appreciate you for doing intensive wheat farming. Because I need so much wheat. <laughs> it's not funny how much wheat I need. Fuck. 
Fuck it, Liara, uh, Garrus can stay asleep. Uh, me, me and uh, me and Liara have got this. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. You guys are going to have a lot of fun do, do, doing the maze. I have made sure that there's, I think there's two or three solutions to it. There's more than one. That's for sure. Yeah, the jumpy crawly gethy are super bad. Like, they are not easy to shoot. And the only reason why you're able to deal with it, them in this one is that powers freeze time. Hey, few lines. Oh, welcome back to the fucking party, Garrus. Yeah, that's right, you walk away from me. Died. Liara tanked it. Connections restored. Processing new data. User alert. Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. Mm -hmm. How do I activate the fail-safe system? Controls for the fail-safe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. User alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. I'm pretty sure I've dreamed of the whole user alert thing because you hear it so often in this mission. User alert. User alert. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. User alert. So much worse than Clippy, right? Very easy to have nightmares of user alert. Liara, 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 please. Thank you, Liara, thank you. Never been so goddamn happy to have Liara in a fire team before. <laughs> user alert, I love you. User alert, never leave me. Decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. They're locked in. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? What's this about? The tram station has been sealed. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Ah, yes. Whee! 
manage to pause just as that thing comes climbing through the <laughs> the the duda. Ooh. Oh no, no. Liberator bad. Sounds about right. Right, guys, are you ready for uh, step number whatever? Ow! Ow! Why did that hurt so much? Do you know what was on sale on the Xbox? Uh, Outlast. But after having seen Pi stream it, I never want to play it myself because I would shit myself. She didn't ruin Halloween, although I am a little bit sad that she's not doing her now Halloween we'll horror stream station, for the month. My week feels so much less occupied with uh, without Pi's streams. Now, do I play to the end of this mission, or do I stop it? I'm going to stop it, I think. I think everyone misses the pie streams, which is only, only right. You hear that pie? We miss you! Imagine if I would have taught you, managed to talk you into Outlast, it would have been great. It would have not been great, it would have been absolutely fucking terrifying. Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd only be upset if they'd fired. Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule. Two legs good, four legs bad. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. I'm a specter. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. That ex really excludes space horses, right? I ex crowdsource Pi's career so she can keep streaming. I know. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Uh, horses will yeah. nibble fingers, though. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell, man the perimeter. <laughs> that 
Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. All right. I think this is a good place to stop. Sometimes you get the tummy grumblies that only hands can satisfy. You're right, Toast. So, I'm going to leave the stream here, and we're going to finish Novaria next week. And we'll also do some fun side missions before we go ahead and do Vermeyer. So, probably won't do Vermeyer next week. We'll be doing fun side missions instead. Um... Got a thought. On the word that uh, Pi has stopped streaming, there is lots of streaming vacancies available. I know I stopped streaming because my mental health was getting a bit weird, but I may alternate taking one of those spots. I haven't really made my mind up yet. Um. Because I'm playing a lot of Destiny at the moment and I'm doing a lot of raids, I'm quite keen on streaming them because they're not something many people get to experience and then if you see other people streaming them you get kind of an idea of how they go and then when you do get to play them yourself you know what you're doing, that kind of thing. So uh, there may be some intermittent raid streams in the future because I'm now in a clan that raids a lot. So if that's something you're interested in, keep an eye out. Uh, otherwise next stream won't be till Friday and I have a feeling my boyfriend's going to be here so it's going to be probably an overcooked stream. Or maybe an arc, scorched earth, depends. See, I'll see how Michael's feeling. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I didn't die too often. I think I only died once, and that was at the very beginning. Otherwise, I just had some very, very, very near misses. And we'll kill Liara's mum next week. Hope you all have a nice evening. I'll probably see some of you on Minecraft. And bye bye.